Here comes trial number two. I wonder how our heroes will do. The cow goes move. D and D minus. <laughs> Uh, Eli, sorry. Uh, will you tell us what's happening first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are in the middle of the trials, which a beesh or a bitch, Slutsky, challenged you to in order to get the locket of fabrication from Snedrick's old school. You also visited Snedrick's parents, who are normies, G-N-O, who don't believe in <laughs> magic, but he did ask that they come and watch him in the trials. You solved my uh, fucking... Time Turner. What are the eleven plus called? four is fifteen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you, saw, you solved my a priori math puzzle too quickly, which was very upsetting for me. But then, luckily for us, Heath pushed a button literally until there was no possible way for you to defeat that character. So I divided <laughs> his life in half, and then you fought him, and you won. <laughs> You're welcome. I hacked it. I made, I made the god. Fi- I made the god fix something in our favor. That was probably the most frustrating moment in this game. So far. I actually, in the edit, my math won't work out, and everyone will be like, "Eli lied. He didn't actually keep track of the numbers." But if I left all the numbers in, there might be some kind of assassination attempt. So <laughs> it would be like the uh, vulgarity for charity of D and D minus. We'd still be fighting that guy three months exactly. from now. Exactly. He gets up again. Motherfucker. (laughs) James, stop pushing the button. (laughs) All right. All my shit is lightning. And then Claw decided, ooh, I'm going to choose lightning of all the things. So fuck. I like to be uh, unpredictable. You know. (laughs) All right. You head back to your quarters and rest up for your next day of challenges. Everywhere you go, the castle is a buzz with talk of your challenge. How quickly you pass the test of the luck potion and how you're the first group in history to fail so spectacularly at the test of patience that you broke it. <laughs> Either way, the following afternoon, you are back at the Great Hall once again. If anything, the crowd is more full than before. Every business in Athena is shut down because everyone wants to see your next trial, including Snedrick's parents, who, Snedrick, you notice are in the audience. They're sitting way in the back and right next to the door and the way you do when you're going to leave early, but they're here and they're watching. All right, y'all let me do something big and explodey at some point, all right? (laughs) I was going to say we could just do a bunch of magic rock and magic hand stuff just at your dad. (laughs) (laughs) So once again, the gate is set up. The headmistress makes some opening remarks, explains that this is the second trial, and you step through the gate for your second test. As you step through the gate again, you find yourself on what, at first, seems to be that same idyllic island the headmistress showed you when you first visited. But something is different this time. They do updates re- like every every couple of years. Or so. Oh no! Is it is it gonna be the the festival of lights? The Mario, <laughs> maybe the Mario one. Yeah, yeah. Hanukkah. <gasps> it's Hanukkah. This is a whole Hanukkah theme. There's a Hanukkah now. thing going on. <laughs> yep. I'm- I'm throwing out all my notes. So while this place is definitely based on the island you first saw, the magic that created this place is clumsier and less delicate. The gentle genius of Holly's magic has been replaced by an ugly and lazy magic hand. A beesh flickers into the picture in front of you and says, Ah, yes, I'd forgotten. You all have been here before, haven't you? I do hope the high priestess doesn't mind. And you hear from behind him someone saying, I do mind, motherfucker. (laughs) He continues, but this seemed like such a good idea for your next trial. Good luck. And with that, he vanishes. And as he was talking, you notice that the animal folk you saw before are different now, too. Uh, Firstly, they speak common. You can understand them. It's not just like a series of dots and dashes. (laughs) And you can see them whispering short greetings to each other and then wandering away. 
All right, I'm going to shake some trees. <laughs> I, I'm going to clean up all the weeds I see. <laughs> I'm going to do an Animal Crossing thing. Too. <laughs> Everybody uh, start, like, do you see a rock? Hit it. Hit it with your shovel. Do you have a shovel? We all have shovels. If you hit, it, a- hit it with your axe. We should just we all have a shovel. All right, y'all, make sure you're looking up, too, if you see any oh, presents <laughs> with uh, <laughs> balloons tied to them. Anybody got a slingshot? Right, you, guys, one you guys are walking around this island smashing things with shovels. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Mario Kart. I don't know what these references are. I'm, I'm driving around in a cart. <laughs> All right. Heath is going to lose to a nine year old. Uh, everybody <laughs> make a perception check for me. Oh, okay. Is that just a D20? Just straight D20. I'm going to use the fancy thing. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I literally rolled a one. Me too. I rolled a four. Oh, no, I rolled a seven. It looks like a one. Yeah. 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 Boy, we all shit the bed. I don't believe that dice. <laughs> wow. I don't think that's how I, I rolled. How could we all roll that low? It's What are the odds? They're, so, yeah, Eli, so- did you get mine, too? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, because I did it on my phone. That's good to know. Yeah, absolutely. So, for the listeners at home, we are looking at a <laughs> six for Bridget, a seven for Dave, a four for Snedrick, and a three for Claw. We don't notice shit. <laughs> I'm a seven plus one. It's an eight. <laughs> yeah. You perceive fuck all. But as you're watching and not perceiving anything, a ghost floats up to you, Dave, a cute little ghost, and says, One. <laughs> What? The moment what comes out of your mouth, the ghost's face darkens with menace, and its translucent hand solidifies into a horrifying claw that scratches you for four points of damage. Oh, I like this game. <laughs> you do? And as Why don't you say hi to... Why don't you ask the ghost a question then? <laughs> Each of the ten or so animal folk you can see around you take on menacing dark looks <laughs> and start to move towards your group. <laughs> We're going to kill Animal Crossing. Everybody, everybody look at the ghosts. They can't come towards you if you look at them. <laughs> Wrong game. Damn. Oh, no. Are we not in that Mario hey, Am I? Are we universe? supposed to go find little spirits to give back to this ghost so that he can give us some new, like, a new item or an expensive item? Or a recipe, at least. You have no fucking idea. <laughs> okay, you said that. one... I feel like it's a co- It's like a riddle. Well, if I have to kill Marina the octopus, I'm going to be so <laughs> devastating. God damn I'm going to throw a dart at the closest villager. Don't Wait, throw a dart. So <laughs> how many How many villagers are there? There are 10. Um, there is a large raccoon in a Hawaiian shirt. Oh, we'll kill that motherfucker. <laughs> An owl wearing glasses. A bird dressed like a sailor. A dog with a guitar that you're pretty sure is stoned. Is that motherfucker yeah, yeah. too? Yep. I think we got these it. These are all the, 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 the MP. Yeah, the, yep. these are the non- NPCs. Characters. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. A hedgehog in an apron. Two smaller raccoons in Hawaiian shirts. And probably another hedgehog with an apron. Yeah. A dodo in a pilot's costume. Mm-hmm. The ghost that scratched Dave. Dave, did you take your four points of damage? Yep. Okay. And a beaver. <laughs> I don't believe dressed... him. <laughs> I'm going to go check. <laughs> we can't hide anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and a beaver dressed like a fisherman. Not no lizard. No lizard. No space chicken. No space chicken. All right. Can we go back into further Animal Crossing games? Is there a <laughs> bear serving coffee? <laughs> is, there, is there a gopher that's yelling at us? <laughs> yeah. Is there a weird little fox selling shoes? Uh, I'm still gonna throw my dart. Uh, at which one? Tom Don't, Nook. Yeah. Don't, oh, okay. you catch your ass. Just <laughs> <laughs> so you throw your dart. I won't even make your roll for it because he's an illusion. The minute you throw your dart, it just goes straight through him. Cool. I go pick up my dart. Okay. As you're walking towards your dart, Tom Nook, the raccoon in a Hawaiian shirt, steps in front of you and says, four. Okay. The pattern, the pattern is one, four. Well, the ghost is one and Nook is four. Yeah. What happens when he says, uh, I say four. That's up. Really? He yep. smiles at you and disappears. One. <laughs> I say one to the ghost who said one. I throw my dart at Tim Nook. <laughs> well, he's gone. Oh, oh okay. no, that's the little one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to keep track of who these yes, fucking things are. I had to Google what they are. That's why I have them listed by description in my notes. Okay, wait. So that raccoon disappeared. Dave, you run up to the ghost and say the word one. 
Correct. Once again, the claw turns solid. It scratches you for another four points of damage. I like this game, too. Interesting. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, it turns solid and scratches you for four points of damage. Push the button again. <laughs> I bet this time you get cheese. I'm going to throw my dart at Tim Nook. Okay, that's uh, there are two small raccoons that are identical. Mm -hmm. That's one of them, I assume? Yes. I, yeah, but you get to pick. I don't know which one's which. Okay, so again, that dart goes right through. Doesn't hurt the Tim Nook, but it does get its attention, so it walks over to you, and it says... 13. One. Now, this time, its claw solidifies. It takes a big chomp out of your neck and does four points of damage to you, Claw. Okay. Does the other one say, Erteen, afterward? I feel like there's an outside <laughs> chance that this is what Eli thinks the Fibonacci sequence is, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same thought. Oh, God. Um, um, I don't know what the Fibonacci sequence is. It's not I'm, one, four, 13. That's for sure. Uh... I'm going to keep observing. Yeah, I was going to say. I'm going to go pick up my dart. <laughs> okay, 1, 4, 13. So, right, we but get? we don't know that that order is significant. All right. Can we can we roll another perception check? Just try again on that. Unfortunately, only one perception check. Unless you can tell me why you would perceive things again, except for you didn't roll very well. I would like to investigate. All right, roll that investigation check for Everybody me. roll an investigation check. There we go. <laughs> That's not great. 13. You know what? It's better than my... my 17. 17. Ooh, a dirty 20 for Claw. hey Claw. And a 12 for Snedrick. All right, Claw, as you go up to pick up your dart, you watch as the ghost walks over to the hedgehog in the apron. And the ghost says one... And the hedgehog says three, and nothing happens, and they walk away. Does it need to equal four? <laughs> well, no, because the one that worked was four and four. No. That doesn't equal no, four. <laughs> and one of them said 13, so you can't add to that to equal four. No, you could do like a negative nine, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, right. I guess that could be it. I don't think that negative nine was the right response. So, well, somebody say negative roll. nine. <laughs> Clark, right? Uh, Dave, you know what? With that 17, you overhear something as well. You see the hedgehog walk up to the bird dressed like a sailor. The hedgehog says two, and the sailor says three. And nothing happens, and they part ways. So we had a two followed by a two? Or no, we had a one and then a three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they walked away, and then we had a two, two. and a three. Yeah. And they walked away. And the hedgehog said three the first time and two the second time. Mm -hmm. Meaning that they are not essentially like permanent. They are not fixed numbers. Okay. Feels like maybe if you say a higher number. That's the only consistency so far yeah. that. Yeah. But mine was equal, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Equal to or higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's. Yeah. That's not much to go on. All right. I'm going to walk over to one of them. All right, you walk over to which one? I don't know the closest one. The one that's closest to you is the Dodo in the pilot's costume. Right. He says, 11. 11? Uh, again, a snarl Wait, crosses. I don't think that was her answer. No, no, no. She was asking, uh, was 11 what I just heard? Oh, yes. yes. 11 is the word. Sure. She wasn't in that's what Bridget Boulder. Well, you weren't in your voice, so whether you I, meant yeah, to or not. I, you didn't oh, go wait. eleven or whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> um, what did it tie to? <laughs> Claw? I didn't say anything. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> problematic impression of Scottish 12? people just now. Claw. Twelve. Twelve. The, the dodo's face darkens with rage, and its beak pecks you in the chest, and you take four points of slashing damage. Yeah. It's also interesting that we're taking four points of damage. Okay. I'm going to walk up to one of them and I'm going to say a number first. Ooh, which one do you walk up to and what do you say? Um, I walk up to the dog. Wasn't there a dog? There is a dog with a guitar that you're pretty sure is stoned. Stone dog with a guitar, 100%. I walk up to that dog and I say... 420? 420. Eli has to do math. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> The dog replies. 
That's amazing. We're getting so much information from this. This is great. The dog replies, 17. And nothing and happens? And nothing happens? You nothing know? happens, yeah. I say pie. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, what happens now? <laughs> The dog <laughs> dies. <laughs> says, "Well, it depends on a lot of what you feel about math theory, but technically not infinity. But as far as we know, infinity." <laughs> and then one of the other animals comes over and like starts very viciously arguing that it's very clearly not infinity. That just because a thing isn't known, it's not infinity. And then the dog argues back that that theorem actually sort of proves the existence of something. But like <laughs> supercomputers have invested. So they're, they're okay. arguing back and forth. All right. So it has to do with the amount of digits in the number. They, they <laughs> Is their response something related to that? Now we know. That's <laughs> Well, weird. you're relying on Eli's understanding of pi. <laughs> I, right? think, so, I think he seems to be describing somewhat correctly that pi has an... Ir it's an irrational number that has... Theoretically, infinite, infinite decimal places, d digits. Beyond right, but that the, might be the only thing he knows about it. So that doesn't necessarily mean that the number of digits in the numbers that we're giving them are relevant, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hmm. Snedrick, an owl wearing glasses walks up to you and says, <laughs> six. All right, so my just let these motherfuckers uh, do it uh, theory is not going to work out. Um, I'm going to say nine back to him. Oh, the owl looks angrily and pecks you in the face for four points of slashing damage. Is it the, wait, wait, is it the number of letters in the thing? No, because 420 is uh, 10. I and pi is two letters. Right. Yeah. 420 is 17, though. Is, isn't 17? Oh, 420. Oh, okay. But, but, but pi. But then he's, but, but that's. You know, spelling out three point one four one. Yeah. Oh, so he's assuming that. Okay. So it sounds. Yeah, it sounds like that's working. So, like when somebody said one, the response was three, which is the number of letters yeah. in one. Yeah. And somebody, when somebody said, said two, two, the response was three. Said, that's the number yeah. of letters. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And yep. four right. and four. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around until someone comes up to me. Uh, the second smaller raccoon walks up to you and says, eight. Oh God. That's five. <laughs> it's five. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Oh, you got a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> and he vanishes in a puff. Wait, of smoke. I have a question. Why was there a calculator involved when you had to count the number of letters in 420? And it was a long amount of calculation. <laughs> I, no, he spelled it out and counted. He spelled it out and counted <laughs> yeah. the words. I Googled. Oh, right. Okay, you typed it in and then. <laughs> what and then what move you, your finger what, across the screen. And what was he the answer? To make sure that it actually was spelled right. I'm sure. Seven, seventeen. <laughs> wait, wait. The answer to four hundred twenty was seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was so scared. I counted so many times. I was like, "Fuck!" There's no one doing this. No delete and move will save me if I don't get this right. Speaking of which, the bird dressed like a sailor walks up to you, Bridget, and says, five. Four. And he vanishes in a puff of smoke. Can we just skip to we've already done all exactly. of Exactly. One by one. <laughs> <laughs> you name things to these animals until they're all gone and the illusion around you vanishes. All right. I'm going to make a big explosion illusion when that happens because I didn't get to blow <laughs> anything up for my, for my folks. <laughs> yep. So. Nice. Firework of sorts. Yeah. So as the tropical island fades away, you find yourselves back in the school. I waited that whole island for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the real Abish, not an illusion, stands and says, For your next trial, you will fight Four. yet an <laughs> 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 you will fight yet another champion from our school. In this case, Alsman, named for patron Eric Alsman. Alsman, come out and meet our champions. And from the side of the hall steps a human with a menacing-looking flail and two spears on his back and an alchemical mask of some sort strapped to his face. The high priestess stands and says, Uh, high prefect a beach. I don't recall this gentleman applying to the school or ever seeing him in any classes. In fact, 
He looks an awful lot like a hired assassin to me. And Allsman mumbles from beneath his mask. Transfer student. <laughs> <laughs> what's, an al- what's an alchemical mask? You would look at it as like a scuba mask, except instead of being filled with air, it's filled with like a weird fluid that you don't recognize. So it's like a Bane mask. Yeah, yeah, Bane yeah, mask, yeah. exactly. Gotcha. A beast turns to the headmistress and says, Trust me, mistress. I've made sure that Allsman here has had access to all of our school's fine educational opportunities. And with that, Abish pulls an empty vial with a single drop of purple liquid at the bottom out of his coat and drops it to the floor in front of him. Everybody, roll initiative. everybody just jumping in once again to thank you so much for listening to the show we absolutely adore making this thing and we're glad that you're enjoying listening to it hey if you like the show why not hop on itunes and give us one of those five-star reviews i've heard so much about or if you love the show you can actually financially support us over at patreon.com forward slash d and d minus all spelled out. You get our bonus episodes and behind the scenes Dungeon Masters Q&As. And now for our $5 patrons right now, like if you pledge this very second, you get our episode chunks. I have actually combined our Patreon versions of the show into big, chunky, multi-hour arcs so that you can listen without having to switch things around in your iTunes player or make playlists. You can just listen to those big, chunky episodes for just $5 a show. Yeah. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D&D minus. Check it out. We really, really appreciate the support and all the kind words y'all have put out there. Uh, this is such fun to do. And uh, like I said, we're just we're grateful that you're listening. It, it blows us away that you would want to listen to us play this very silly, very fun game of Dungeons and Dragons. Speaking of which, let's get back to it. That's a deuce. Mother oh shit! Fucker! I am not twenty. Ooh. You got oh. a nat twenty-two? Yes. Nice. All righty. Are you ready to rumble? No, not quite. Yeah. Now, now. <laughs> <laughs> I could rumble. <laughs> All right, Claw. You are up first. Okay. I am going to. Uh, needless to say, don't give yourselves a long rest from the damage you got in the previous trial. <laughs> Too late. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to do an unarmed strike and then flurry of blows. Ooh. All right. You've already, people are aware of that right now. So just roll those dice for me. Okay. 15, 17, Woo-hoo. and a 19. That will be a one hit. Only one hit. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. So Shit. his armor class is 18 or 19. So here's the thing you ah. run over and you hit him. With your staff, you punch him, and you punch him again, and nothing happens. It's like punching a wall. He he doesn't even move. Really should have just hit him once. (laughs) Snedrick, you are up next. All right. He doesn't strike me as particularly wise looking. Yeah. So (laughs) I'm going to throw, I'm going to use my hold person spell. Ooh, read that description for us. Choose a humanoid that you can see within range. Uh, the target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for the duration. At the end of each of its turns, the target can make another wisdom saving throw. On a success, the spell ends on the target. And then there's some at higher level shit. So I'm going to paralyze him if he can't make a wisdom saving throw. All right. And he has to roll a 13, yeah? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah? Yeah, he's not going to do it. If there was a super hold person, you would hold him extra, Snedrick. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Y'all beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's paralyzed. He's paralyzed, which means he can't fucking do anything. And everyone gets advantage on attack rolls against him. Excellent. Fuck yeah. I'm going to yell up to my parents. You can't really tell, but I've done something very important here. It's not very flashy. <laughs> Of all the things you could have done to try and impress him, it was a, it was a spell yeah, you can't yeah, see. Yeah, paralyze my... <laughs> <laughs> a 
and everybody do nothing. I did that. <laughs> I did the nothing, though. That was my nothing. Your mom makes the, like, rah-rah hands where you clasp your hands and do them from side to side. And your dad is looking straight up at the ceiling. He didn't see it. He's pretending he didn't see what happened. Dad. 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 Did you see it? You're going to miss it. Uh, all right, it is his turn. He can't do anything because he's paralyzed, so he's going to try and break your hold, and he is going to roll a dirty three, ladies and gentlemen, so he's going to stay <laughs> fucking paralyzed. Bridget. All right, I'm going to inflict wounds on this fucker. All right, um, roll that dice for me. Nat 20. Nat Fuck 20. Yeah. So that's 23 plus... That's well, not as good anyway. Plus eight. 23 plus 8. So that's 31 damage. Good job, Eli. Whoo! And good job, Bridget. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So here's the thing, Bridget. There is a purple aura around him. So we probably need to destroy the purple vial that a bitch dropped. Or drink it. <laughs> yeah. That's always your answer, Bridget. <laughs> the power of your magic <laughs> crackles along this sort of aura that goes around until you see lightning bolts sort of zip in on itself and you see terror in Allsman's eyes as lightning strikes him over and over and over again for damage. And Dave, you are up. Okay, I would like to summon some bread to start. <laughs> that will be your action. Will and your well, action. well for, I'm going to walk over to him. You can do that. I'm going to summon bread and put it in his mouth. <laughs> sure. You could dip the bread in the purple stuff. No, no, no. I'm not no. dipping it in anything. I want it to be super dry. So ah, he's we oh he's God. wearing an alchemical mask. He, right. He can't. You can't get to his mouth. Can you take I'm his alchemical take mask off? Take his mask off. Oh All my goodness, right. Dave, look, someone dropped a vial of candy. <laughs> None of that, like, giant lightning storm maybe jostled his mask a little bit? No. You sure? Yeah, you, you take his mask off. And Dave, as you go, I love this so fucking much. As you go to insert the bread into his mouth... <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bread is it? Yeah, right, we need to know what bread is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, that fucks it all up. What's <laughs> the whole point? Is this, the I want it to be a table. really big pile of tell, saltines or triscuits or like something story, really, Eli. <laughs> why, really dry. Did you, why did you not have the bread table up already? I Eli? Didn't did you have really not think it was going to come up? <laughs> I don't even know. Where is it? <laughs> I, I need just a thing that says bread table. You do. It was inner. When did we use it last? <laughs> Last episode. Okay. Yeah, tell me about it. We've used it. I, I, summon bread, I summon bread like once every 20 minutes that we play this game. He's You're getting joking. his money's worth out of it. That's true. You need to create like a an auto bread dice roll. Yeah, right. Why is that not on yeah. D D Beyond? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cut rate shit is this? <laughs> All right. I have to log into our Patreon and look at the I'm messages so I sent to our higher <laughs> level patrons. You are so mad. I hate you so much. Stupid bread table. You could just, the thing is that's so fucked up is that he could have just asked you for a number and you could he could have just gone rye. It was rye. <laughs> no, no, because here's the problem. If I do that, oh, somebody will check. Right? Yeah. Someone will check and they'll be like, actually, you were supposed to do the man. <laughs> I'm so glad that they will. <laughs> they will. Eli, what was all the typing you were doing when you were counting the letters in 420? So I had to Google how to spell 420. You had to Google how to, how did, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Which word gave you trouble? Dave, please roll a, a D100 I, I for me. I have no reason to laugh that much after not knowing how many letters were in eight. <laughs> roll a D100, you said? Yes, please. Two. Wow. <laughs> Two. You pull out a braided loaf filled with minced and roasted fruits. Apple-filled braids are particularly popular in colder weather. I want that. So so you take off... I give this. a little bit to Bridget. Cool. You take <laughs> I have some for myself, too. <laughs> sure? You, you take off this... Does anybody else mask. want some bread really quick? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take some of the apple bread, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> and... <laughs> He looks even more terrified. Dave, make a perception check for me. 
17 plus yeah! something. Dave, One, 18. You notice that he's not just paralyzed, he seems too still. He seems like he might not be breathing right now. That was kind of the whole point of what I was doing here. So good. <laughs> <laughs> no, not not because of the bread. Like the moment you go in, because the it mask. seems like he stops yeah. breathing. Yeah, I mean, why else would you wear a mask oh, with no. gases in it and shit? All right. Kla, you're up. I think we've won. I feel like Have he's we? dying. I mean, you can do something <laughs> if you want. Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you could dance. You could do a little... <laughs> you could, just, do a why little don't you just go gosh. up and like flick him in the eye or something just to see. Claude, did you notice someone dropped a veil? Where's the mask? I have the mask. I stole it. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll go get the vial. Cool. You walk over and pick up a, a vial with a drop of purple liquid at the bottom. Okay. Are we supposed to give that to this dude? I feel like no. Or drink it ourselves. I feel like he was an assassin that was like brought here to kill us. I feel like we just like keep the not breathing and the being paralyzed thing going. Does the paralyzed thing run out? Do we have a time limit on that? <laughs> He'll have another chance after my move to... Um, I'm going to run as far away from him with the vial as possible. Like, get the Great. most furthest he's distance. Like, No, he's still breathing. No, he's, no, he's not, not breathing, breathing, but he's still alive. He's still, still yeah, trying to yeah, breathe. No, no, that's a good, that's a good call, Claw. Uh, that's a good call. So how far away can I get? Can I get like 120 feet away? What's your Absolutely. speed? Absolutely. Yeah, you can take your dash action and get super far. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get as far as is allowed. All right, Snedrick, you're up. All right, I'm going to grab his mask and throw it to Claw. <laughs> We're playing keep away. <laughs> you're going to try and throw that mask 120 feet. I'm going to throw it as, as far as I can towards him. What if I just do that so so Snedrick can have his full action? No, it's, it's Snedrick's turn. turn. What if he Snedrick? asks me to do that? Wait, what if you did a minor illusion and pretended to throw the mask? <laughs> I'm... I, Snedrick, why did none of us pay attention? Snedrick, Snedrick would you like me to throw the mask to Cloud make, before he runs away? Make an athletics check for me. All right. Uh, I rolled a full. I rolled four. <laughs> so Snedrick, oh, no. so just for the image, <laughs> Claw goes running across this great hall, 120 I'm open. feet away. I'm open. S Snedrick <laughs> grabs the mask out of Dave's hand and goes, "He!" <laughs> lands a foot and a half in front of it's, him. It's heavier than it looks, Pop. <laughs> that is heavy. It's uh, it's it slipped. Grace, it was, it was, you I don't want take... your life. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. I do that dejected wide receiver didn't get thrown the ball kind of jog back, but I don't know all the way back. Are you going to do a backflip and shit yourself? <laughs> Allsman starts moving again. It's his turn, and he starts moving again. He breaks your hold person spell. But did he roll the 13? Because he's supposed to have to roll again. He rolled a 15, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. And then he is going to action surge so he runs over, picks up the mask from where Snedrick threw it, and for his action surge, he's going to use his multi-attack on Snedrick, who is just a foot away. Wait, isn't Wait. his whole move throwing the thing to break my spell? I believe so that's for correct. his because he uses an action surge, he gets the two two actions. Well, I'm gonna do an action surge too, then for my last <laughs> move. <laughs> I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You're right. I'm right next to him also. He needs to do an attack of... or I get an attack of opportunity if he's going to run no, away. Actually, it, it's it's deeper than that. At the end of each of its turns, the target can make a wisdom saving throw. Thank you, that's what I thought. Yeah. So he's yeah, paralyzed not at the until the end of his this turn. Right. So he just breaks the spell. He doesn't run over and get the mask yet. Okay, yeah. All right. And I'm 120 feet away. <laughs> yeah. But he is still... He is now moving, right? He has obviously broken the spell but he is still turning slightly blue and not breathing. Yeah, because he has bread stuffed in his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. That's part That's of it. Bread. Yeah, he has not removed the bread. Even if he put the mask on, he'd still have the bread in his <laughs> <laughs> You have to use an action for that. That would be an action. <laughs> Bridget, it is your turn. Oh, Jesus, is it? Yeah. Oh. You can kick the mask. Okay, <laughs> Snedri oh, right. You, right, you threw the mask. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <okay. laughs> it's slippery. I told you it's heavier than it uh, looks. I, or could I you like do. spell blast the mask to me or something like that? Like, could it get farther distance that way? Uh, how 
so how c- close are is everybody to the to me right now? I'm right next to you. God, okay. I don't care about you. Uh, Snidger, how close <laughs> are you? I'm right here. <laughs> I mean, Bridget. I just grabbed the Bridget. mask from him. Bridget. And through it, so I've got to be right there too. I'm I right guess. Here. Oh shit! Okay. And I'm like at the end of the stands. Bridget, yeah. I have a javelin. Do you want to? Do you want to put the mask on a javelin okay, and throw it? Wait. Uh, so I'm going to do shatter. A sudden, a sudden loud ringing noise, painfully intense, erupts from a point of your choice within range. Anyway, I'm gonna do it so that only the dude is in it. Maybe Dave, if I have to, but like. <laughs> <laughs> do it from the bread in his mouth. That should be the point that you no, nope, because it's a ten foot <laughs> radius. Uh, uh, okay, cool. I'm gonna do so. That. It's a it's a ten foot sphere. So you've you've got the sphere starting like ten feet on the other side of this gentleman. Well, five uh, five feet. Wait, there, so or I can have it just above my head. So Dave obviously is gonna get it, but Snedrick is shorter than me. So you know. Oh, nice. I duck. Nice. Yeah. All the, right. The y axis. Uh, Dave, make a constitution saving throw for me. I ducked. You did not. <laughs> make a duck throw. Throw for a duck. It's not your turn, Dave. You can't roll duck. for duck. 13. Yeah, it's a good roll. Right, That's a 13. Good, Don't worry. That's the save. And I'm going to have him make it. I'm going to duck too, though, because like I don't want to draw attention to how small I am. He <laughs> only rolled a seven, Bridget, so roll that damage for me. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're shattering his mask right now? Is that what's uh, happening? No, I'm just shattering him. It's just a 15 spell. 15 points of damage, motherfucker. Fuck yeah. Ooh, 15 points of damage. Is anybody Whoa. else going to fucking fight with me or what? <laughs> I paralyzed him. I don't know if you noticed. I, I did I a very, know. it was you're, important. You're it's just not I very suffocated strong. him with both no longer having a mask and bread. You gave us all a I snap. ran away. <laughs> Bridget, here's the thing. You roll that damage, except as your spell crackles above him, that purple aura appears again, and he takes no damage. Motherfucker. Okay. All right. The vial. Yeah. Well, really, let's just focus on him not being able to breathe continually, because that's working, I think. He really (laughs) wants that mask, right? I mean, it's, it's your move. All right. I am going to put the mask onto my javelin and throw the javelin to Claw. All right, make a strength. You're going to throw a javelin at Claw? Yeah, you're going to make a strength. That's going to be a athletics check with disadvantage because it's a fucking insane thing to try to do. <laughs> this, is, this isn't a difficult thing, throwing a javelin. Attaching a mask to a javelin and then throwing On the said fly. javelin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just it, you tie it and then you throw it. You Dave. keep talking, I'm going to make you do an, a, a dexterity check just to tie a mask onto a Dave, okay. Why wouldn't you just throw it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's easier than I made it look. Just don't tell my dad. A javelin <laughs> A javelin is going to be more of a, a throw situ- better throw than just the mask yeah. alone. More aerodynamic. Yeah, absolutely. Not. <laughs> Eli, you, you don't think it's more aer- you don't think it's easier to throw a javelin for distance than a than a mask? mask? <laughs> Yeah, it's much easier to throw a mask than a javelin. For distance. Toss it so like you... a fucking frisbee. I don't <laughs> care. Just Yeah. I think okay. they made javelins to be thrown. It's a weapon. It's not easier to throw than a mask. Yes, it is. What? Am I a crazy <laughs> well, person? You could throw it theoretically further, but maybe not so much if there was a mask attached to it. <laughs> there's and a I mask that fucks up the weight. to it. There's, there's in no universe of physics... <laughs> I feel like a fucking crazy person right now. Imagine you're holding a scuba mask. I want you to imagine you're holding a scuba mask. And someone's like, hey, Keith, throw that as far as you can. And then someone's like, hey, man, would you rather throw this javelin? Which do you think you would be able to throw further? Absolutely, the javelin. javelin. Well, you would definitely... You would definitely throw the javelin further. I'm yes. just talking about the uh, arrow tape. Without question, I need, I need the god of the universe to admit how ridiculous this scenario <laughs> is. You're and then it. we can move on. I don't think you'd <laughs> throw it further if there was a fucking face mask attached to it. The face mask has nothing to do with it. Masks are lighter than... All right, okay. you know what? <laughs> oh, you think you think the lighter something is, the further Cotton it goes when you throw it? balls are lighter than Frisbees. I mean... Yeah, lots of things that are lighter won't go... Like a tissue. <laughs> I could try to throw a tissue, which is lighter I, than a javelin. I need, you, <laughs> I need you to make a strength check with disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> I got a 20. No, don't 
Yeah, d- roll it, <laughs> roll the real dice. Oh, Don't no, roll I'm, the digital I'm gonna, dice. I'm going to need you to roll that right here where I can see it, Mr. I and rolled right. a real 20 with a real die. <laughs> <laughs> two, two votes. Click, click those numbers, baby. I swear to God, if this is a 20. <laughs> Six? <laughs> Fuck yeah. You have disadvantage, so that's the roll unless you roll lower. Wait, can you can you use a portent to give me like a 19? It wouldn't matter at this point because you have already disadvantage. rolled. What you should have done is used it like in that ladle, right? Like put the um the mask on it and then just use the javelin to sling the mask. Anyway, that's sorry. what he was saying, wasn't it? No, no, I'm he, I'm I'm not talking about attaching it. I'm talking about using it as just like a a stationary launch for the. Uh, okay, I actually rolled a four. <laughs> oh wow! So Dave, because of the clumsy way in which you tie this mask on, you heave the javelin and you do that thing if you can imagine me throwing a javelin where i i push too hard on the back end so it just spins around in a little circle and then thunks straight down into the earth <laughs> i can see that imagine. It's, it's slippery it's harder than you'd think <laughs> all right claw you are 120 feet away you are up <laughs> i would like to argue about why it would be tough to throw a mask on a javelin because i yeah. don't really feel like that's <laughs> insane <laughs> but, Absolutely so, but, here's the but thing, you know though, what gee. we'll move on <laughs> <laughs> the difference is the disadvantage, right? So one way or the other, it would have been a six instead it of a four. A would have been the difference, right? Yeah. Uh, so still angry, it still salty. We will move on. <laughs> oh. been, so look, well, maybe the people will come out and support. This could be. I think that when we <laughs> next get together, we should get a javelin and a mask I, and test this. I. Claw. Your turn. Hundred, hundred and twenty feet away. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think the vial is? Because I, I still the, have the vial. I think, it's the I think you should attach it to uh, some kind of weapon and then throw that <laughs> weapon. <laughs> I do have a dart. Oh, <laughs> like, do you think I should just try and destroy it or bring it back? I, I think you should do a perception check on it. But that would be an action, wouldn't it? If you don't, I will. That's fine. I'd rather you take an action. I'm wondering if I should try and destroy it. I perceive this. How would you know unless you do a perception check? I wouldn't. That's why I'm asking you guys if we think we can kind of feel out what would destroying I mean, it would I do. I feel like destroying it and f- then finding out by destroying it is kind of our way so far. <laughs> True. Yeah, just destroy it how, however you the, think you can. This is the, the least claw you've acted this entire time. I just want you to know. <laughs> why? Because I didn't steal it? No, oh, because you didn't drink it. <laughs> oh, I could drink it. <laughs> it's just a drop, right? Mm-hmm. It's just a drop. Go what ahead. What happened? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Notorious last words from a. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> well, so he had a purple aura, and the and the vial is it's a purple drop. So he had a purple aura when he got attacked, mm-hmm. and he, it was sort of like a damage barrier. I have resistance to poison. I could probably do it. I'm gonna drink it, but he's 120 feet away from you. Why yeah. don't you attach it to a weapon and throw it to Bridget? <laughs> Can I reach the javelin? <laughs> no. No, it's 120 feet away. Well, no, it's like 100 and like le- 19.5. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. No, I'm going to drink the vial. You're going to drink the vial. All right. The purple potion touches your tongue. You feel of like for a second, this purple aura form around you. And as it closes around you, you I'm not going to be able to breathe. <laughs> there's no air in there. Oh, shit. <laughs> now it's really important that we start succeeding on mask throws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so luckily for you, it was just a drop though, so the purple aura flickers and then goes away. Oh, okay. And you can breathe again. So now it's just an empty vial. It's now just an empty vial. I pocket the empty vial. You pocket the empty vial. Snedrick, you're up. <laughs> I'm gonna pee on the mask. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, that'd be a dexterity. <laughs> Wait, what is... Wait, no, she I just want to be a, clear. You shit. think it requires dexterity to urinate <laughs> on something? It takes dexterity to urinate you, on okay. a target? Yeah, no, that's probably... No, I probably... I couldn't go while everybody's watching. No. Um, <laughs> you think javelins are difficult to throw, even though they're literally for a sport made of throwing, and you think it's <laughs> difficult dexterity-wise to urinate. Go ahead. I just wanted to set the scene for everybody. <laughs> on, a, on a target, it's hard. <laughs> um let's just so after i go he goes right he's got the next move after mm-hmm. me you guys ever notice that like everything happens in like 
turns in yeah, our it's lives. Cool. It's <laughs> fucking crazy. Like, like it's always like you go, I go, and then the monster go. It's always like an order. The poor people watching this from the stands, like Snedrick's parents. <laughs> Ugh, it must be rough. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so what's this um what's this mask made out of? Does it look like something that I can destroy with my like massive gnome strength? Excellent question. Uh <laughs> probably not with your bare hands, no. What about with fire? Yeah, if you blasted this thing with some hardcore magic, I think it would take some damage. If not, depending on what you use, I think it'll either entirely be destroyed or take some damage. Is it rubber? Yeah, it's it's rubber and it's got two like. What if you shot it with a blunderbuss just off, <laughs> just apropos of nothing? I don't have a I don't have a blunderbuss, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, <laughs> I got one. No, I've got I have a I have a heat thing, but it's a it's a roaring flame thirty feet long, and five feet wide. I mean, I guess if I'm going for we, we you didn't throw it far, I'd be melting the shit out of your javelin with it. You know, that'd be pretty red hot. I'm okay um, with that. <laughs> but yeah, all right. So I'm going to throw down... It's almost uh, impossible to throw a javelin, as it turns out. In this it's universe. very... I don't know why I carry this thing around. Very... It's really hard to throw. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm going to throw down Agonazer's Scorcher. Nice roll. I, I won't even make you roll to hit because it's a dexterity saving throw and masks on the ground have very low dexterity. <laughs> right. And I'm I'm guessing other th- I don't really have to throw the 3d8. Um, yeah. is, is, is Snedrick's dad watching? That's important. <laughs> you turn this thing into a pile of ash. I, I did roll my 3d8. I rolled a 21. So I did 21 yeah. damage to a rubber mask. Yeah, Fire it, it is absolutely decimated. And Alsman looks down at the mask and then looks to the side of the audience at a beach and then he passes out. <laughs> nice. And everyone in the crowd goes absolutely crazy. I even got to burn some shit. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for that. (laughs) It's all part of the plan when I ran away. Did I lose everybody? No, we're no, just nobody's talking. No. Everybody. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what happened? Where am I? Twenty. I rolled. I don't know what to do. Heath talking. Heath talking. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm LLC. Copyright twenty twenty one. All rights reserved.